What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what we can expect in Apple's next major version of iOS, known as iOS 8. So as you guys know, the current month is March. We're actually halfway through the month, and that means this is just three months away until we are at June 2014, where of course Apple will be holding the next WWDC Worldwide Developers Conference event. Now, Every year, Apple likes to unveil a new version of its mobile operating system, iOS. So that means a new one is in the works right now and is on its way for the first beta round this June. So there are a lot of rumors speculating around lately and screenshots and stuff like that that are purported to be the very first version of iOS 8 and some new features that we're starting to see that we may see unveiled, as a matter of fact, at WWDC 2014 in June. So the first major thing, and I'm sure you guys have heard about this already, is that there are supposed to be four new apps that will actually be unveiled in iOS 8. And if you look at the screenshot here, you can see those four are HealthBook, Preview, Text Edit, and Tips. And you can see it's kind of on this second page of icons that were defaulted on the iOS 7 home screen. You can see it's a ton of extra icons. So HealthBook, Preview from Mac OS X, and Text Edit from Mac OS X, as well as an all new app called Tips. So very interesting. We'll get to HealthBook last because that's something I really want to get into, but let's focus on the first three. So the first one is Preview, which is brought directly over from Mac OS X. This has been an app that's been on the Mac for a number of years, very, very long time, and a lot of people actually do like to use it. And it's what, if you download a picture or something or you open a picture on your Mac, it's the default program that you open a picture picture with. With Instagram and Twitter and Vine and everything else in existence with that involve photo editing, it would be very interesting and kind of makes sense for Apple to actually unveil a preview or smaller version of preview onto iOS. It would be pretty interesting to see, but at the same time, semi-useful. I don't see a big deal for it to be on here since you could do some light edits right in the Photos app. I think Apple would more incorporate maybe more features into the Photos app, or they could completely do some new thing with preview where as soon as you get a picture, you open it up directly in preview, and it's a whole new editing world that Apple unveils. And maybe they could also update preview with that for OS X as well. But it'll be kind of interesting to see. Usually when we predict rumors for Apple, now they have a higher chance of coming true for some reason in more recent years so to see this prediction is kind of a weird thing this could be a real mock-up of ios 8 and it actually could be an existent maybe alpha version or it could be something completely different so the next purported app is text edit which is an app that was also brought from mac os x which i do not see coming to ios at all and i'll tell you exactly why text edit is sort of a thing that you would use to kind of build a type of text document, especially if you didn't have Microsoft Word and you were just a cheap person, you'd just be using text edit, no offense. Um, but it's also designed to write some sort of scripts if you want, or you can also use it to include directions or readmes maybe into a .zip file or .dmg file that maybe you're selling or putting up for available download on the internet. That's what I use text edit for. Um, but it's kind of like a, a document writing app, but a, a very, very small version. Um, it's like a little utility almost. It's it's really nothing big. It's kind of like preview. It's not a big deal. Um, so it's it's interesting to see that Apple would want something like this. Personally, I love the Notes app. I, all I use is the Notes app, and I sync my notes up from my MacBook, my desktop Mac, my iPad mini, my iPhone 5S. I sync all of my notes with that, and I never use text edit to take notes. I keep everything in one place so that I just kind of always have access access to it and I don't see text edit doing that anytime soon nor do I see the purpose of it being on iOS and of course you know these are just mock-ups and rumors so always take them with a grain of salt I just I don't see why it would be needed in iOS the next app is tips which is kind of an interesting app now to be honest with you I don't know what this app would do for iOS or do for the end user um, maybe it's some sort of thing that takes on reminders again another almost pointless utility that you're not going to need just these three top ones right here um, I guess it could maybe be something that you you list tips into that you oh yeah that's right I have to do this I have to do that but that's exactly what reminders does maybe it's just an easier to use or simpler way of reminders I'm really not exactly sure very, very interesting for that to be thrown in there, but we'll just have to wait and see. I, I honestly have no idea what tips could be. 
And the last and final app that has been thrown in there that I really want to talk about is an app called Healthbook. Now, this has been rumored for quite some months now. This isn't the first time we've heard about a Healthbook rumor. And it's kind of got a similar passbook looking icon. And, well, hence the name Healthbook, passbook. I mean, they're almost the same. Um, so, Healthbook is actually going to be a type of app that's going to be designed to work with your fitness and wellness of yourself. So, that means running, walking, eating, um, how much you weigh, how much you gain, how much you lose, keep track of your everything pretty much, just your health wise. So, and this is supposed to be somehow incorporated with the iWatch that's supposed to be unveiled in June as well, or even sooner than that. We're not exactly sure. Could be unveiled at any point this time. Um, most likely June with iOS 8. So Healthbook is going to incorporate with the iWatch that they unveil. And basically, since you're going to be running with the iWatch or doing whatever with the iWatch, exercising, you just pretty much track it into the iWatch itself, and then it just goes ahead and it syncs to Healthbook. So later on, you pull out your phone and be like, oh, okay, so I did this today, I gained this much weight, lost this much weight, I ate this, this, and this. So stuff like that, very, very mainstream and simple. I think there are apps that are out right now that are third party that serve purposes and do stuff like this, but Apple wants to take on that type of health and fitness market, and I don't think Healthbook is going to be the only thing that's integrated in iOS that revolves around your health. Um, I think there are a lot of things as well that they're going to do with iOS. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but I think that's what iOS 8 is going to focus on a lot, health and fitness. So I don't think we're just going to see Healthbook. I think we're going to see a lot of things revamped and even new things in iOS that will somehow relate to your health and help you track your health so you could live a better life, I guess. And of course, that brings me to the iWatch again, which we will most likely see, like I said, in June at WWDC 2014. And that will definitely have a lot of involvement with the iPhone as well. In some cases, it will have to have some sort of connection that will be able to sync back and forth with health book, messages, phone, whatever it may be. So do expect iOS 8 to have a lot of changes to it that help it connect with the iWatch for sure. And then besides all these new apps and health and stuff like that, there are some few little things here and there that we'll get for iOS 8. Obviously a design change is not going to be necessary since iOS 7 already brought the major design change that we got last year, a very different design. So I wouldn't expect much to change at all. I would expect maybe the icons to change a little bit. It's interesting, what was said at W. WDC was these icons are not going to stay the same. None of them have changed. Maybe one or two has been very minorly tweaked, but not even the majority would notice. So I'd like to see maybe some of the icons look different so that maybe the iOS looks a little updated. I know they won't do much to it based on the fact that they just redid the design. But other than all of that, there are some fixes here and there that are expected. The first one is that Maps is going to be fixed. And you know that Apple uses a lot of different companies to make up their Maps applications so that theirs is the best. After they left Google, back a couple of years ago and they haven't had the best map service since and everyone's hated it and it really hasn't worked the best so Apple is trying day and night to fix this thing so it'll be nice to see if finally they come to a conclusion here in June and give us a much better improved maps experience. It is also said that Touch ID on the iPhone 5S, the fingerprint reader scanner, is going to be updated as well. I don't know if it's going to be a hardware thing that comes with the iPhone 6, hopefully it is, um, but it's basically they're just going to do a ton of fixes. I have heard from iOS 7.1 that the Touch ID sensor was fixed a lot. I haven't been able to actually download it on my phone yet because my iPhone 5S is jailbroken on iOS 7.0.4, but eventually when a jailbreak comes out for 7.1, I'll go ahead and re-jailbreak and I'll be able to give it a try. I just don't think it's been that updated well. I've noticed Touch ID still has a very hard time recognizing your fingerprint. Sometimes it's unresponsive, doesn't work. So I think overall Apple needs to toy with it a little bit more. Of course, I don't expect it to be perfect. Last year in uh, September was the first time that Touch ID was ever unveiled from Apple. So they are going to need some more time to work on it and develop it and stuff like that. They're going to have to work on it. So it would be really nice to see some fixes to it and whatever else. Keeping in mind with iOS 7.1, which was just unveiled a few weeks ago now, there have been some new things shown that some new iPads may be on the way. There are two different iPad models and new models that were introduced in the iOS 7.1 string install, whatever you want to call it. There was evidence found that there will be two new iPad models coming soon, and hopefully that follows possibly an iPhone 6 that could either be announced in June at WWDC 2014 or most likely um, in September when Apple's been announcing the phones all the time. When we'll see hopefully the iPhone 6 or whatever it's going to be called and I don't know if they're going to make a comeback with the plastic iPhone 5C. It hasn't been doing well at all. It didn't meet their expectations so they could scrap it completely 
or they could do something else. I really don't know what they're going to do at this point. It's a little too early to predict, but hopefully we'll get some sort of messages or signs from WWDC 2014 um, about the iPhone 6, which will also revolve around iOS 8. So there you go, guys. That is what to expect from iOS 8 that will hopefully debut at WWDC 2014 this year. I have no doubt. I know it will. Um, but, you know, it's really not going to be that much. I wouldn't be expecting too, too much. A few new apps here and there. A lot of integration with health and fitness. That includes the iWatch. Hopefully that'll come as well very soon. Uh, most likely at WWDC 2014. Um, so just don't expect a lot. I'm going to put out there. Just expect minor tweaks and things. Um, improved maps, improved Touch ID, the health and fitness thing, and some new utilities here and there that you probably are going to stick in your don't use folder on your home screen. If you guys like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.